Hi, this is going to be a very quick video and I'm going to show you how to easily and very cheaply build a discharger for your LiPos. So for example, if you have a LiPo like this or uh, something with a different connector, you can easily discharge with this method and it's uh, absolutely safe. So I'm going to use, uh, as you can see, this is a 12 volts, 20 watts uh, halogen lamp. You can purchase this on your local uh, hardware store or on Amazon and it's very very cheap and here's this little guy right here and then you get one of these little voltage checker this also is really cheap I think it's like a couple of dollars um, uh, this plugs directly into the uh, balance port of your battery it's self-powered uh, or well it takes the power from there and as you can see, it supports from 1S up to 8S uh, batteries. So uh, what you do basically, you just plug uh, the pins uh, in the balance port of your LiPo. And it might be a little bit difficult to see, but it's going through uh, and it's showing its cycle and it's showing basically uh, the total uh, voltage as well as the single cell uh, voltage. So, and this battery has a GS JST, so if you have a different battery, you're just going to use uh, your connector such as, uh, I don't know, um, XT60 or something. So, I'm going to uh, solder this wire, and it doesn't really matter the order that you solder them. There is no uh, ground or anything like that. You can solder either way. So I'm just going to put some heat shrink and I'm going to use my uh, putty eraser here to just to keep the uh, uh, the wire uh, nice and firm while I'm going to thin it a little bit with the solder. Uh, you don't need much. And then I connect uh, one cable here to, the, uh, to one of the pins of the lamp. And do the same thing from the other side, just a little bit of solder on the cable like that. And very quickly just uh, apply it to the other side, to the other pin like that. And uh, before heat shrinking, it's a good idea to check if everything is working. So, yep, the lights turns on, seems that uh, it's working. So. Uh, so now basically I'm going to put the heat shrink, you need to be careful though to not uh, put the heat shrink around the lamp itself because it's, uh, uh, it's going to become really really hot and it's going to melt the plastic there so uh, just keep the heat shrink uh, just to cover the cable uh, and do not touch the lamp, uh, that's not a good idea, something like that. Uh, as you can see the pins are a little bit exposed there but that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna use this. Uh, this is this glass is for a, it's a candle glass, so it can withstand high temperature. You can use whatever you want. Uh, just don't put it uh, on something that melts or can uh, burn. So you plug your uh, voltage checker, and then you connect the battery, and basically you wait. So as you can see, uh, uh, it's going through, and it's gonna show the voltage and it's gonna go down slowly and there's a uh, you can set a voltage there so once you reach the uh, the, the voltage uh, here as you can see uh, there's a really loud beeper that goes off indicating that uh, the battery has reached uh, uh, low voltage and so at this point you can uh, unplug it and your battery is now discharged so yeah, very quick and easy way. It's absolutely safe. Uh, very, very cheap. The whole thing cost uh, probably about $4 to build. So it's very, very cheap and easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you next time.